Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Galenicals. So Galenicals is one of the important topic in pharmaceutics of pharmaceutic first years. So what are Galenicals? So Galenicals in the name itself, it is there, you see Galenicals. Galen. Galen is the scientist who discovered this type of pharmaceutical preparations. That is why the preparations comes under the name of the scientist Galen. So that is why these are pronounced as Galenicals. Simply Galen is the one who discovered this type of preparations. That is why this type of preparations are called as Galenicals. So what is a Galenical? Galenical is nothing but it is a medicinal preparation which is prepared by extracting crude vegetable drugs by using a solvent. This is called as Galenical. So simple to say, that is the definition, but simple to say, if you are preparing a preparation by taking the part of a medicinal plant or crude vegetable drug and keeping it under a solvent and by the process of extraction, if you take the medicinal constituents of that vegetable drug into that solvent, such type of process is called as galenical. Simply by taking a medicinal plant, keeping it under a solvent and straining it and taking the medicinal constituents out of that crude drug, that type of process is called as Galenicals. So, and is also called as. So, what we are doing here, we are extracting, we are extracting the medicinal constituents from that crude drug. We are extracting the medicinal constituents from that medicinal plant by using a solvent. So, that is why it comes under extraction process. Nomenclature. So, what are the terms which are used in Galenicals. The terminology of Galenicals is mainly three types, three terms we have to remember. That is the first one and the most important one is menstrual. Menstrual. Why it is important one? Why? Because menstrual is nothing but it is the solvent which we will use for extracting the medicinal constituents. So that is why it is called as menstrual. So the examples of the solvent which we will use are water, alcohol, ether, etc. And the next one is Galenicals. As we have already noticed about it, what is that Galenical? Galen is the scientist who discovered this preparation. So that is why they are called as Galenicals. And the third term which we have to learn is mark. So what is mark? Mark is nothing but the remaining material. The inert fibrous insoluble material which is remained after the process of extraction is called as mark. The preparations are mainly two types. Galenical preparations, non-galenical preparations. So galenical preparations are nothing but when we use the formula of galen for preparing the medicinal constituents, then that is called as galenical preparation. And if we don't use the galen formula, then that comes under non-galenical preparations. So there are different process for extracting the medicinal constituents from the plant by using the formula of galen. So what are those different process? The first process is infusion and the second process is decoction and the third process is maceration and the fourth process is percolation. Infusion, decoction, maceration, percolation. Infusion. So what is an infusion? Infusion is an easy process. Directly we will take the plant constituents and then we will mix it with water or alcohol. Then the medicinal constituents will be extracted into that solvent. So that is called as infusion. This is two types. Fresh infusion, concentrated infusion. Fresh infusion is also called as dilute infusion. Concentrated infusion is also called as stock infusion. 
So how to prepare a fresh infusion? You see here how to prepare a fresh infusion. So the first thing what we have to do is we have to take a definite weight of crude drug. First, we will take the crude drug and we will weigh it for the calculated amount. And then to that crude drug, we will add hot or boiling menstruum. Hot or boiling menstruum means what? Hot solvent or boiled solvent, we will add it to that crude drug. And we will allow that to soak for a definite period of time definite period of time we will allow it to stand and after that the heat should be retained in the container and during that time we have to stir it very well and then the after the process whatever the prepared content is there that is called as fresh infusion simply that is the fresh infusion and it must be dispensed and it must be used within 12 hours of preparation so do you understand? The first thing what we have to take, we have to take the crude drug which we have to do the process and then the, to that crude drug, we have to add hot or boiling solvent to it and then we have to allow it to soak for a definite period of time. And this definite period of time, we have to stay, the heat should be retained in the container. And then after, after the definite period of time, the fresh infusion is prepared and that fresh infusion must be dispensed and it must be used within 12 hours of time. And the concentrated infusion preparation. See, the concentrated infusion preparation is nothing but when you take the menstruum as an alcoholic content. If you take alcoholic menstruum for preparing an infusion, that comes under concentrated infusion. And this concentrated infusion, you have to dilute with water at least seven times of their volume. Then only we have to use it. So this is the difference between fresh infusion and concentrated infusion. And see here, this is the vessel which we will use for preparing galenical. So this is a covered jar which is made up of earthenware, ceramic or glass or porcelain. And it contains, you see, on the upper side of this jar, it contains a perforated tray which allows the solvent to go inside. And whatever the thing which we have to do the process that is placed on the upper side of that uh, tray so that it, when it is suspended in a jar at a height, the process will carry and the solvent, uh, the remaining solvent or uh, the solvent which is having medicinal constituents will go through those perforations. The perforations are very useful for the solvent to go into it. And the next process is decoction. So decoction, you know very well how we make tea with the decoction. The same thing will be applied here. The constituent of plant drugs are taken and they are boiled with water. The constituents are boiled with water and by using some non-volatile constituents, we will take the decoction substances which are the medic medicinal constituents. And mainly this process is mainly used for the drugs of hard and woody nature plants. So the crude drugs which are having hard and woody nature, they are prepared by using this process of decoction. And the process you see here, the first what we have to do is the drug is boiled with water for 10 minutes. The drug should be boiled with water for 10 minutes. After boiling, the liquid is strained and the water is passed through that strainer. The process is mainly used for the vegetable drugs of the hard and woody nature as we told you earlier. Next process is maceration. The maceration process is generally softened by soaking in liquid. So these are three types of maceration process are there. So what are those three types of maceration process? The process for tincture made from the organized drugs. If you take the roots or stem or leaves of a plant for preparing a uh, galenical, that type of process is called as simple maceration. Or if you take unorganized drugs such as resins or gum resins of a plant and if you do the process, that process is known as maceration with adjustment. And if you take some concentrated preparations, then there are two processes. They are called as double maceration and triple maceration. 
So this is the maceration types. So there are three types. If you do the process by taking the drugs like roots, stem and leaves of a plant, then that is called as simple maceration. If you do the process by taking the unorganized drugs such as oleo resins or gum resins of a plant, then that is called as maceration with adjustment. And if you take the concentrated preparations of the plant and you do the process, then that is called as double maceration and triple maceration. And see how to do the maceration process here. First, what we will do is we will take the plant material and we will crush it or we will cut it into small or moderately coarser powders. And then this plant material, we will place it in a closed vessel. And then to that closed vessel, we will add the solvent that is menstruum. And it is allowed to stand for a certain period of time. And during that time, we have to shake it occasionally. And then the liquid which is remained is strained off. And the solid residue which is remained, that is called as mark, it is pressed to get the other constituents. And then after that, straining process is carried out. After that, clarification and filtration, evaporation, process will be carried out and the finally the concentrated galenical will be taken into the vessel. So this is maceration process simply. Again you see maceration process how we will do it. First we will take the plant material, we will crush or cut into small or moderate pieces and then we will take these pieces and we will place it in a closed vessel. In that closed vessel we will add the solvent which is called as menstruum. And then after adding the solvent, we will keep it or we will stand it for some days, mainly seven days. And by shaking occasionally during those days, we have to shake the vessel occasionally so that the liquid will be strained off. And then the remaining thing that is mark is pressed to get the uh, other medicinal constituents. And then the process, the strained and it is expressed and then clarification process and filtration process and evaporation process is done and then finally the concentrated galenical will be collected. So this is the maceration process. Next process is the last process that is percolation. Percolation is nothing but it is a process of liquid which is slowly processed through a filter. If the percolation is nothing but process of a liquid which slowly passes through a filter. By using a filter, the, we will take the medicinal constituent of a plant and we will slowly allow the solvent to pass through a filter. That type of process is called as percolation. This percolation mainly comes from the Latin word percolare. Percolare means nothing but to strain through, means the process of straining. So the percolare means to strain through, to strain through a filter is called as percolation simply. So this is like filtration process and it contains many things, many steps. The first step is comminution. Comminution is nothing but the reduction of size of a drug from coarse to fine particles. That is called as comminution means size reduction of the drug is called as comminution. Next one, imbibition. Imbibition is nothing but by adding a solvent, the next step, what we will do? We will add a solvent. When you add a solvent, the drug will absorb the solvent and it will swell. So that swelling process is called as imbibition. And the next thing is packing. The drug is moistened and it is placed in a percolator with a filter below and above the drug. That type of process is called as packing. And then the next one is maceration. And then the menstruum is added and the percolator lid will be closed with that pack. That process is called as maceration. And finally, percolation. How the percolation will be done? We have to keep it aside for 24 hours. And then the menstruum which is there, it is filtered to the filters and then it is collected. That is called as percolation. So these are the five steps which are involved in the process of percolation. The first one is comminution. Comminution is nothing but the size reduction of the drug. And the next one is imbibition. Imbibition is nothing but absorbing the solvent and then the drug constituents will swell. That process is called as imbibition. And then we will take the constituents and we will pack it with a filter below and above the drug. That process is called as packing. After that, the percolator lid is closed. That process is called as maceration. And finally, the percolation is done by keeping it aside for 24 hours. 
that is called as percolation. So these are the different percolators which we will use for preparing the galenicals by using the process of percolation. That is conical percolator, cylindrical percolator, steam jacketed percolator, humagava extractor. So this is about galenicals. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel for more and more important pharmacy classes.